In the boundless canvas of the night sky, countless stars twinkle, each a beacon in the vast cosmic ocean. Beyond this starry veil lie structures of immense scale and beauty. Galaxies, nebulae, and stellar giants, each playing a role in the grand symphony of the universe. This journey, our cosmic odyssey, is not just a voyage through space, but a journey through time, exploring the ancient light of distant stars and the mysteries they hold. As we gaze up at the night sky, the stars we see are but a fraction of the universe's vast expanse. The cosmos is an intricate tapestry woven with the threads of light from billions of galaxies, each a collection of stars, planets, and mysteries beyond our comprehension. These galaxies are the universe's cities, grand and sprawling, each with a story that spans billions of years. Our journey through the universe is not merely a quest for knowledge, but a pursuit of understanding our place in this vast cosmic arena. The universe is a puzzle, and each celestial body is a piece, revealing the laws of physics and the history of cosmic evolution. From the swirling arms of spiral galaxies to the brilliant glow of nebulae, every corner of the universe has a tale to tell. The exploration of space is one of humanity's greatest achievements. It is a testament to our curiosity and our unyielding desire to understand the unknown. The journey to the stars has been a source of inspiration for generations, sparking imaginations and driving us to push the boundaries of our knowledge. As we embark on this voyage, we travel not only through the physical dimensions of space, but also through the annals of time. The light from distant galaxies travels millions, even billions of years to reach us. We are observing these celestial bodies as they were long ago, a window into the past. The universe is a time machine, offering glimpses into its own history, a story of creation, evolution and eventual demise. Our cosmic journey begins with the grandest of all cosmic structures, galaxies. These enormous assemblages of stars, gas, dust and dark matter are the foundations of the universe. Galaxies come in various forms, majestic spirals with winding arms, colossal ellipticals filled with ancient stars and irregulars shaped by cosmic tumults. Each galaxy is a universe unto itself, teeming with stellar births and deaths, black holes and nebulas. As we explore these galactic cities, we'll witness the life cycle of stars, from their fiery births in the dense regions of nebulae to their dramatic ends as supernovae or collapsing into black holes. The life of a star is a microcosm of the universe's story, a tale of transformation and change. Beyond the galaxies, we encounter the nebulae, vast clouds of gas and dust. These celestial nurseries are where stars are born. The Orion Nebula, a jewel in our night sky, is an example of such a stellar cradle. Here, new stars ignite, forging the elements that make up planets and, ultimately, live themselves. The universe is also home to phenomena that challenge our understanding of physics, black holes, the enigmatic remnants of collapsed stars where gravity reigns supreme. These cosmic phenomena warp space and time, offering a glimpse into the universe's most extreme conditions. As we traverse through the cosmos, we'll explore the connections that bind these celestial bodies. The spiral arms of galaxies echo in the swirling patterns of nebulae. The processes that govern star formation in nebulae are intrinsically linked to the evolution of galaxies. These connections are the threads that weave the cosmic tapestry. The journey through space is also an inward journey, a reflection on our place in the universe. As Carl Sagan once said, we are made of star stuff. The atoms in our bodies were forged in the hearts of stars, linking us inextricably to the cosmos. In exploring the universe, we are, in a sense, exploring ourselves. Our voyage through the cosmos is a testament to human curiosity and our unending quest for understanding. As we peer into the depths of space, we seek answers to the fundamental questions of existence. How did the universe begin? What is its fate? And what is our role within this vast cosmic drama? So let us embark on this grand journey through the universe. As we explore the celestial wonders of galaxies, nebulae and stellar giants, we will uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. Each discovery is a note in the symphony of the universe, 
a melody that resonates through space and time. Welcome to Cosmic Symphony, exploring the universe's grand structures. Our journey through the cosmos begins now. Galaxies, the universe's cities. Could humanity be considered the nascent species of the Milky Way? The possibility exists that myriad Earth-like planets, numbering in the thousands or even millions, traverse the unseen realms of our galaxy. Yet this remains an enigma. It's conceivable that numerous planets within our galactic neighbourhood harbour not just life but intelligence. This raises an intriguing question. Are we newcomers to an already established consortium of intelligent beings? Human existence on Earth spans several hundred thousand years, yet our journey into technological advancements such as radio and rocketry is a mere blip in history, scarcely a century old. This leads to pressing inquiries. What is the population of this cosmic club of advanced civilizations, and to what extent have they surpassed us in development? To estimate the number of technologically sophisticated civilizations within contemporary realms, the Drake Equation offers a valuable starting point. This renowned formula suggests calculating the number of advanced galactic societies by multiplying their average lifespan with the frequency of their emergence. This concept is akin to estimating a university's student population by multiplying the number of yearly admissions by the average duration of study, typically around four years. While our own technological society has persevered for a century, our understanding of the average longevity of such societies still needs to be improved. A crucial factor in this equation is the rate at which sentient societies develop across the galaxy, which is closely linked to the rate of star formation. A higher frequency of star births suggests a greater likelihood of planets evolving intelligent life. Regarding star formation rates in the Milky Way, which houses an estimated 200 billion stars, the average rate over the past 13 billion years has been about 15 per year. However, this figure needs to be more accurate. Insights from radio telescope observations reveal that the mass of stars in a large spiral galaxy like ours constitutes only a small fraction of the total interstellar gas. Since interstellar gas is the primary ingredient for star creation, the current scarcity of it implies a slowdown in new star formation. As stars end their life cycle, they expel some of their material back into space, but due to gravitational forces, most of the sun's matter, for instance, will remain bound to it indefinitely. Consequently, there is a limited supply of material for new star formation, and the majority of stars in our galaxy have already formed. Mary Barsoni, a researcher at the Space Science Institute, notes, Currently, the star formation rate in the Milky Way is about one solar mass per year, significantly less fertile than in the past. However, a significant surge in star formation occurred over 10 billion years ago, marking a period of rapid star population growth. In this context, our Sun emerges as a relatively recent addition. This understanding influences our perspective on the roster of intelligent beings. Two primary possibilities emerge. One is where technological societies persist for billions of years, valuing intelligence as an essential asset. By comparison, trilobites, which lacked any significant intelligence, managed to survive for half a billion years. In this view, we are mere novices among a gathering of ancient wise civilizations. Alternatively, technological civilizations might be inherently ephemeral, suggesting that many of the galaxy's once great civilizations have long since disappeared, leaving only a few relatively young members. The validity of either scenario may become apparent once we successfully intercept and interpret signals from extraterrestrial sources. However, one indisputable truth underpins our discussion. Our entry into the realm of technology is a recent development. We stand at the threshold of our galactic journey, just beginning to make our mark. As our journey through the cosmos begins, we find ourselves amidst the grandest of all cosmic structures, galaxies. These immense cities of the universe are more than just clusters of stars. They are the very fabric of the cosmos, woven from the threads of matter, light and gravity. Let's embark on an exploration of these celestial metropolises, 
where billions of stars tell the story of the universe. So, what are galaxies? Galaxies are vast collections of stars, planets, gas, dust and dark matter bound together by gravity, spanning thousands to hundreds of thousands of light years across. Each galaxy is a unique tapestry of cosmic phenomena. There are several types of galaxies, each with its own distinctive features and characteristics. The most visually striking are spiral galaxies, characterised by their flat, disc-like structure and swirling spiral arms. Our own Milky Way is a classic example of a spiral galaxy. These galaxies are often sites of significant star formation, particularly in their spiral arms, where dense molecular clouds collapse to birth new stars. The arms themselves are thought to be density waves, regions of higher density that rotate around the galaxy, triggering star formation as they go. In contrast, elliptical galaxies present a more uniform appearance, ranging from nearly spherical to elongated shapes. They typically contain older, redder stars and have less gas and dust compared to their spiral counterparts. Ellipticals are often massive, sometimes containing trillions of stars, and are thought to form through the merging of smaller galaxies. Then there are the irregular galaxies, which lack a distinct shape. These galaxies are often smaller and contain large amounts of gas and dust, making them fertile grounds for star formation. Their irregular appearance is frequently the result of gravitational interactions or collisions with other galaxies. Galaxies are not static entities. They are constantly evolving. Born from vast clouds of gas and dust, galaxies grow by forming new stars and merging with other galaxies. This process of galactic evolution is a fundamental aspect of cosmic history, shaping the structure of the universe as we see it today. Then we have the completely weird galaxies that we don't even know how to classify, like Hoag's object, a galaxy within a galaxy. Within a galaxy is a completely mind-melting enigma for cosmology. One of the most intriguing mysteries in the universe is Hoag's object, a cluster of red stars encircled by a flawlessly symmetrical ring. Nestled in the northern sky's serpent constellation, this unusual formation presents a galaxy within a galaxy within a galaxy. This celestial puzzle, known as Hoag's object, has puzzled astronomers since its discovery by Arthur Hoag in 1950. This unique galaxy, a ring-shaped wonder spanning about 100,000 light-years across, slightly surpassing the Milky Way in size, resides 600 million light-years away from our planet. Benoit Blanco, a geophysicist, recently processed an image from the Hubble Space Telescope that shows billions of blue stars forming a flawless ring around a compact, denser core of reddish stars. Intriguingly, another distant ring galaxy makes a surprise appearance in the dark void separating the two stellar rings. The formation and splitting of Hoag's object remain a conundrum for astronomers. Ring galaxies are rare, representing less than 0.1% of all known galaxies, making them challenging to study. Initially, Hoag speculated that its ring-like appearance might be an optical illusion from gravitational lensing, a phenomenon where massive objects warp and amplify light. Advanced telescopic studies later refuted this theory, however. According to a popular theory, Hoag's object may have developed from a typical disc-shaped galaxy and later undergone a transformation because of a devastating collision with another galaxy close by. This event is theorised to have punched through the galaxy's centre and altered its gravitational field. Yet, if such a cosmic event occurred within the last three billion years, remnants of this collision should have been detectable by radio telescopes. But no evidence has been found. If a cosmic collision is at the heart of Hoag's object, it likely occurred so far back in time that all traces have been erased. With only a few other known ring galaxies to compare, none exhibiting the perfect symmetry of Hoag's object, this cosmic entity remains an enigmatic spectacle, a mystery shrouded within a cosmic puzzle. Exploring notable galaxies. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is a barred spiral galaxy comprising billions of stars, including our Sun. It spans about 100,000 light years in diameter and is part of the local group a galaxy cluster that also includes Andromeda and the Triangulum galaxies. One of the Milky Way's most notable features is its galactic centre, which harbours a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A. 
The galaxy is organised into several spiral arms, each hosting a plethora of star-forming regions, stellar clusters and nebulae. Recent discoveries in the Milky Way have revolutionised our understanding of galactic dynamics. The Gaia Space Observatory has mapped billions of stars in the galaxy, providing unprecedented insights into their structure and motion. Studies of the Milky Way's halo have revealed remnants of smaller galaxies that it has absorbed over billions of years, shedding light on its growth and evolution. Additionally, the discovery of numerous exoplanets within the Milky Way has opened new avenues in the search for extraterrestrial life. A galaxy that captures the imagination with its unique and striking appearance is the Jellyfish Galaxy. This galaxy, located in the Constellation Triangulum Australe, is an extraordinary barred spiral galaxy that bears an uncanny resemblance to a jellyfish swimming through the celestial sea. Its defining characteristic is not just its spiral arms and bar-shaped nucleus, common among galaxies of its type, but rather the mesmerising streamers of stars trailing behind it, reminiscent of a jellyfish's tentacles. The mystery that the galaxy offers matches its alluring beauty. NASA's observations have revealed that these streamers are not mere cosmic decorations. They are active sites of star formation a process occurring within a tail of dust and gas that is invisible to the naked eye. This revelation is particularly intriguing because the conditions within this tail, predominantly its high temperature, are usually considered too hostile for stars to form. How stars manage to form in such an environment is a puzzle that has captivated astronomers and challenged existing theories of stellar genesis. Several theories have been proposed to explain this enigmatic star formation. One possibility is that pockets within the tail's gas and dust, despite the extreme conditions, achieve the necessary density to kickstart the birth of stars. Another hypothesis suggests that external influences like gravitational interactions with other galaxies or the effects of the intracluster medium could compress the gas to the point where star formation becomes viable. The galaxy is not alone in its jellyfish appearance. There are other galaxies in the universe that share this intriguing feature. By studying ESO-137 and comparing it with its cosmic kin, astronomers are piecing together the puzzle of how such formations come to be and what drives the process of star formation under such unlikely circumstances. This comparative approach not only sheds light on ESO-137's unique characteristics, but also provides insights into the broader phenomena of galaxy evolution and interaction. Looking ahead, ESO-137 remains a focal point of interest for the astronomical community. Advances in telescope technology and simulation models promise to delve deeper into the mysteries of its star-forming streamers. The study of this galaxy goes beyond mere curiosity. It is a window into the diverse and dynamic processes that govern our universe. Understanding the secrets of ESO-137 is a step toward unravelling the complexities of galactic evolution and the myriad ways stars can form in the cosmos. The Andromeda Galaxy is the closest spiral galaxy to the Milky Way and is on a collision course with it. It is expected to merge in about 4 billion years. Andromeda is approximately 2.5 million light-years away and significantly larger than the Milky Way, with an estimated trillion stars. It's known for its two distinctive spiral arms and a bright central bulge housing a massive concentration of stars. One of the most fascinating aspects of Andromeda is the presence of a double nucleus at its core, a unique feature suggesting the past merger of two galaxies. The Hubble Space Telescope has provided detailed images of Andromeda, revealing its intricate spiral structure and star-forming regions. Andromeda's proximity has made it a prime candidate for studying the evolution of spiral galaxies and the phenomenon of galactic collision. The Sombrero Galaxy, located in the Virgo constellation, is notable for its appearance, which resembles a Mexican sombrero hat. It is an edge-on spiral galaxy, allowing a unique view of its structure. The galaxy spans about 50,000 light-years and lies at a distance of about 31 million light-years from Earth. Its most striking feature is the brilliant bulge at the centre and a prominent dust lane that bisects the galaxy. Scientific studies of the Sombrero Galaxy have revealed a supermassive black hole at its centre, 
one of the first to be identified in external galaxies. The galaxy's bulge has an unusually high number of globular clusters, suggesting a complex evolutionary history. The Sombrero Galaxy is also a rich source of infrared radiation, indicating intense star formation activity in its ring. Some galaxies stand out for their sheer dominance and influence. One such galaxy is W2246, known as the brightest galaxy in the universe, which has recently been observed engaging in a remarkable act of galactic interaction. In 2018, a groundbreaking discovery was made when scientists observed that W2246-0526 was not just passively coexisting with its neighbours, but actively consuming them. This galaxy has been seen drawing in half the mass of three nearby galaxies, a feat that is not just impressive, but also unprecedented in our observations of the universe. This process of galactic annihilation involves streamers of mass extending from W2246 to its neighbouring galaxies, visually manifesting the galaxy's gravitational influence. The observation of these streamers is particularly noteworthy because it represents the most distant direct snapshot of galactic annihilation ever captured. The light from this event began its journey more than 12 billion years ago, offering us a glimpse into the ancient universe's dynamics. W2246 actions are not only a display of cosmic predation, but also mark the only known instance of a galaxy simultaneously siphoning off mass from more than one neighbouring galaxy. The implications of this discovery are significant for our understanding of galactic evolution and interactions. W2246's behaviour challenges previous notions about the limits of galactic influence and interaction. The fact that it is absorbing mass from multiple galaxies simultaneously suggests a level of gravitational strength and interaction that was previously unobserved. This process is reshaping not only W2246, but also its neighbouring galaxies, fundamentally altering their structures and trajectories. Moreover, this observation sheds light on the mechanisms of mass transfer and accumulation in the universe. As galaxies like W2246 consume their neighbours, they grow in size and brightness, affecting the cosmic balance and landscape. Such events play a crucial role in shaping the structure and distribution of galaxies across the universe. As our technology and methods of observation continue to advance, galaxies like W2246 offer fertile ground for further study. Understanding the intricacies of such galactic interactions is key to unravelling the mysteries of the cosmos. The case of W2246 serves as a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe by serving as a reminder that even galaxies are not static islands in the vast ocean of space, but rather are constantly evolving and influenced by the forces around them. The Whirlpool Galaxy is a classic spiral galaxy located in the constellation Canes Venatici. It is interacting with a smaller companion galaxy, NGC 5195, a process that has significantly influenced its structure. The Whirlpool Galaxy is relatively close to Earth, at about 23 million light-years, and spans approximately 76,000 light-years in diameter. Astronomical observations of M51 have provided valuable insights into the dynamics of galaxy interaction and spiral structure formation, the galaxy is particularly noted for its well-defined spiral arms, rich in star-forming regions, as seen in images from the Hubble Space Telescope. Studies of M51 have also contributed to understanding the role of gravitational interactions in shaping galactic morphology and triggering star formation. ESO 381 emerges as a unique spectacle in the constellation Centaurus. Located 270 million light-years from Earth, this galaxy presents an intriguing blend of cosmic features. It is a lenticular galaxy, straddling the characteristics of a spiral galaxy, like our Milky Way, and an elongated elliptical galaxy, making it an object of significant interest in astronomical studies. What sets ESO 381 apart, however, are its unusual petal-like structures that seem to unfurl from its central body, much like the petals of a blooming flower against the void of space. These irregular formations extending outward from the galaxy's core add a layer of mystery to ESO 381. Additionally, clusters of stars that orbit on the fringes of the galaxy contribute to its peculiar appearance and have piqued the curiosity of astronomers worldwide.
The genesis of these petal-like structures in ESO 381 still needs to be entirely understood. One prevailing theory suggests that they could be the result of shock waves stemming from a relatively recent galactic collision. Such a collision, besides creating these striking formations, could also have infused the galaxy with fresh material, providing new fuel for star formation. This process of colliding and merging is not uncommon in the universe, and often leads to significant changes in the structure and composition of galaxies. The possibility of a galactic collision reshaping ESO 381 is a compelling narrative in the study of cosmic interactions. If this theory holds, it provides valuable insights into the dynamics of galaxy evolution and the role of collisions in the birth and development of new stellar structures. Moreover, the petal-like blooms and peripheral star clusters could be key to understanding how galaxies absorb and integrate new material from such cosmic encounters. ESO 381, with its intriguing features and the mysteries surrounding its formation, serves as a reminder of the dynamic and often violent nature of the universe. The study of such galaxies not only enriches our knowledge of galactic morphology and evolution, but also offers a glimpse into the processes that shape the universe. As observational technologies advance, galaxies like ESO 381 will continue to be subjects of fascination, inspiring new theories and deepening our understanding of the cosmos. The Triangulum Galaxy, also known as M33, is the third largest member of the local group and a spiral galaxy. It is located approximately 3 million light years from Earth and spans about 60,000 light years in diameter. The galaxy is notable for its loosely wound spiral arms and numerous H2 regions, indicating active star formation. M33 has been the subject of extensive research due to its proximity and lack of a central bulge, which is uncommon for spiral galaxies. Its well-studied star-forming regions like NGC 604, one of the largest known H2 regions, provide critical data on the life cycle of stars. The Triangulum Galaxy also hosts an array of star clusters and nebulae, making it an ideal laboratory for studying the interstellar medium and stellar evolution. The Pinwheel Galaxy, located in the Ursa Major constellation, is a face-on spiral galaxy. It is one of the largest galaxies in its vicinity, with a diameter of about 170,000 light-years and lying about 21 million light-years from Earth. The galaxy is known for its well-defined spiral arms, rich in dust and gas, which are sites of vigorous star formation. One of the key discoveries in M1101 is the presence of numerous H2 regions, indicating intense star formation activity. The galaxy has been a hotspot for studying supernova events, with several supernovae observed within its bounds, providing valuable insights into the end stages of stellar evolution. The Pinwheel Galaxy's extensive size and face-on orientation make it an excellent subject for studying the detailed structure of spiral galaxies. A unique cosmic spectacle unfolds in the form of the spiral galaxy IC 22163. Resembling an enormous eye gazing out into the depths of space, this galaxy presents an intriguing astronomical feature. The eye-like appearance of IC 2163 is not a mere cosmic coincidence, but the result of a close encounter with another spiral galaxy, NGC 2007. This celestial interaction has given rise to a striking stream of stars and dust, creating an ocular formation that captivates observers. The discovery of this eye-shaped feature in IC 2163, reported by astronomer Michelle Kaufman in 2016, represents a rare and fleeting phenomenon in the cosmic timeline. These ocular features, formed through galactic interactions, are ephemeral on a galactic scale, lasting only a few tens of millions of years. In the lifespan of a galaxy, which spans billions of years, such a feature is akin to a momentary glance, making its observation a unique and timely opportunity. The dynamics within this eye feature are as fascinating as its appearance. Researchers have found that the gases within this structure rush toward the centre of IC 2163 at a remarkable speed of 62 miles per second, 100 kilometres per second. 
This movement resembles a wave crashing onto a shore, with the gases becoming increasingly chaotic and slowing as they approach the galaxy's core. This deceleration plays a crucial role in the cosmic drama. As the gas slows down, it begins to accumulate and compress. This compression sets the stage for a burst of new star formation, a process that breathes new life into the galaxy. The interaction between IC2163 and NGC2207, leading to the formation of the eye feature, is a vivid example of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of galaxies. These interactions are not just spectacular visual events, but also key drivers of galactic evolution. The compressing gas in the eye feature of IC2163 serves as a fertile ground for the birth of new stars, highlighting the role of galactic interactions in shaping the structure and future of galaxies. The study of IC2163 and its eye feature provides valuable insights into the mechanics of galactic collisions and the resultant star formation. As astronomers continue to observe and analyse such phenomena, our understanding of the complex and beautiful processes governing the universe deepens. The eye of IC 2163 thus offers more than just a cosmic spectacle. It is a window into the intricate dance of galaxies and the ongoing cycle of creation and transformation in the cosmos. The Magellanic Clouds comprising the Large Magellanic Cloud, LMC, and the Small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, are two irregular dwarf galaxies orbiting the Milky Way. The LMC is about 163,000 light years away, while the SMC is approximately 200,000 light years away. These galaxies are much smaller than the Milky Way, with the LMC spanning about 14,000 light years and the SMC around 7,000 light years. The Magellanic Clouds are crucial for understanding the dynamics of dwarf galaxies and their interactions with larger galaxies like the Milky Way. They are rich in gas and host numerous star-forming regions, making them vital for studying star formation processes. The LMC is home to the Tarantula Nebula, one of the most active star-forming regions in the local group. Additionally, the Magellanic Stream, a long trail of gas extending from these galaxies, provides evidence of their gravitational interaction with the Milky Way and each other. Collectively, these galaxies offer a window into the diverse structures and evolutionary paths of galaxies in the universe. Each has unique characteristics and has contributed significantly to our understanding of cosmic phenomena, from star formation to galactic collisions. Galactic phenomena. Black holes, one of the most enigmatic phenomena in the universe, are regions where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. Their event horizon, a line beyond which nothing can return, is what distinguishes them and foretold their existence by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Physically, they vary in size, from stellar black holes, with masses a few times that of our Sun, to supermassive black holes with masses millions to billions of times that of the Sun, often found at the centres of galaxies including our Milky Way. The first direct image of a black hole's event horizon was captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope, showing a dark central region, the shadow, surrounded by a ring-like structure illuminated by accretion disk material moving at high speeds. This historic image of the black hole in the M87 galaxy confirmed several theoretical predictions about black holes. Neutron stars are the remnants of massive stars that have undergone a supernova explosion they are incredibly dense, with a mass about 1.4 times that of the Sun, compressed into a sphere roughly 10 kilometres in diameter. This results in some of the densest matter in the observable universe, where a sugar cube-sized amount of neutron star material would weigh about a billion tonnes on Earth. Neutron stars also possess extremely strong magnetic fields, which can be billions of times stronger than Earth's. Some neutron stars are observed as pulsars, emitting beams of electromagnetic radiation from their poles. The discovery of pulsars in 1967 by Jocelyn Bell Burnell and Anthony Hewish was a significant milestone in the study of these objects. Supernovae are the spectacularly explosive deaths of stars. They are classified primarily into two types, type 1 supernovae, which occur in binary star systems, and type II supernovae, the result of the collapse of massive stars. 
A supernova can briefly outshine an entire galaxy and is the primary source of many heavy elements in the universe. The Crab Nebula, for instance, is the remnant of a supernova observed on Earth in 1054. The light from a supernova explosion propagates through space, enriching interstellar gas with heavier elements, which then form new stars and planets. The study of supernova has been crucial to understanding stellar evolution and nucleosynthesis. Modern research involves using supernovae as standard candles for measuring cosmic distances, significantly contributing to the discovery of the universe's accelerating expansion. Galaxies, which are vast systems of stars, gas, dust and dark matter, held together by gravitational forces, vary in size and shape, ranging from dwarf galaxies with as few as 100 million stars to giant galaxies with 100 trillion stars. Our Milky Way, a barred spiral galaxy, is an average-sized galaxy with about 100 to 400 billion stars. The colour of a galaxy is indicative of its star population. Younger, hotter stars give off blue light, whereas older, cooler stars emit a redder light. Galactic clusters are larger structures consisting of numerous galaxies. The study of galaxies and clusters has been pivotal in understanding the large-scale structure of the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories have provided invaluable data about galaxy formation and evolution. Pulsars are a type of neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic radiation from their magnetic poles. As the neutron star rotates, these beams are observed as pulses of radiation, hence the name pulsar. Discovered in 1967 by Jocelyn Bell Burnell and Anthony Hewish, pulsars are precise cosmic clocks with rotational periods ranging from milliseconds to seconds. The regularity of their pulses allows astronomers to use them for various purposes, including testing the predictions of general relativity. The most famous pulsar is PSR B1919, the first one discovered, which emits radio waves at regular intervals of 1.33 seconds. Quasars, quasi-stellar objects, are among the most luminous and distant objects in the universe. They emit enormous amounts of energy, including light, radio waves and X-rays, driven by supermassive black holes at the centres of galaxies. A quasar appears as a point source, similar to a star, but is much farther away. They are crucial in studying the early universe, as their light has travelled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the past. The brightest quasars can outshine their entire host galaxies, making them visible across vast cosmic distances. The study of quasars has significantly contributed to our understanding of black hole growth and galaxy formation. Dark matter and dark energy are two of the most mysterious components of the universe. Dark matter, which does not emit or absorb light, is detected through its gravitational effects on visible matter, radiation and the large-scale structure of the universe. It is believed to constitute about 27% of the universe's mass energy content. Dark energy, accounting for about 68%, is even more mysterious and is responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe, a discovery made in 1998 through observations of distant supernovae. The exact nature of dark matter and dark energy remains one of the greatest challenges in modern astrophysics. Supermassive black holes, Sagittarius A in the Milky Way. Supermassive black holes lying at the heart of most galaxies are among the most enigmatic objects in the universe. Sagittarius A is the supermassive black hole at the centre of our Milky Way galaxy. It is located approximately 26,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation of Sagittarius. Sagittarius A is relatively quiet compared to other supermassive black holes found in active galaxies. However, it still exhibits fascinating behaviour, such as accreting matter from its surroundings and occasionally flaring up in brightness. Sagittarius A has a mass of about 4.3 million solar masses, a figure determined by tracking the orbits of stars near the galactic centre. These observations, primarily made by the UCLA Galactic Centre Group under Andrea Gaze and the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics under Reinhard Genzel, have shed light on the characteristics of Sagittarius A. Their work earned Gez and Genzel a share of the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics. Observing Sagittarius A directly is challenging 
due to the vast amounts of interstellar dust that obscure our view. However, advancements in radio and infrared astronomy have allowed astronomers to study its vicinity. The Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, a global network of radio telescopes, aims to capture images of Sagittarius A's Event Horizon, similar to what was achieved for the M87 galaxy's black hole. This would further our understanding of how supermassive black holes interact with their environment, influence galactic evolution, and test the predictions of general relativity in extreme conditions. Galactic jets and star clusters. Galactic jets are one of the most dramatic manifestations of the power of black holes. These jets are colossal beams of ionized matter, propelled at near light speeds from the poles of active supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. These jets can extend for thousands or even millions of light years, far beyond the host galaxy. Their formation is linked to the accretion of matter onto the black hole, as matter spirals into the black hole's accretion disk. Intense magnetic fields near the event horizon channel, some of this infalling material into high-speed jets. Observing and studying galactic jets offers insights into the mechanisms of accretion and the dynamics of black holes. They also impact their host galaxies and surrounding environments, influencing star formation and the intergalactic medium. Jets can be observed across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays, using telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and radio observatories like the Very Large Array, VLA. Star clusters, on the other hand, are groups of stars that are gravitationally bound and have formed from the same molecular cloud. There are two main types, open clusters, which are loosely bound and contain younger stars, and globular clusters, which are tightly bound and consist of older, densely packed stars. Star clusters are critical to studying stellar evolution, as all stars in a cluster have roughly the same age but may vary in mass and luminosity. Globular clusters, often orbiting the outer regions of galaxies, can be as old as the universe itself, providing valuable information about the early stages of galaxy formation and the conditions of the early universe. Open clusters are usually found in the galaxy's spiral arms and are much younger, offering insights into the process of star formation and the evolution of stars. Observations of star clusters have significantly contributed to our understanding of the Milky Way's structure and the history of stellar populations within it. Star clusters and nebulas. Within galaxies, we also find globular clusters, dense collections of ancient stars and nebulas, vast clouds of gas and dust. These structures are not only stunningly beautiful, but are also key to understanding the life cycle of stars and the chemical evolution of galaxies. As we journey through these galactic cities, we witness the grandeur and complexity of the universe. Galaxies are more than mere collections of stars. They are the canvases upon which the cosmic story is painted, chapters written in light and gravity. In exploring galaxies, we explore the history of the universe itself, a history that is still being written in the stars above us. Nebulae, the universe's artworks. Typical emission nebulae. Orion Nebula, M42. One of the brightest emission nebulae, located in the Orion constellation. Eagle Nebula, M16 famous for the pillars of creation image captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. Tarantula Nebula, NGC 2070, a large active star-forming region in the Large Magellanic Cloud, typical reflection nebulae. Pleiades, M45, a star cluster in Taurus, surrounded by a reflection nebula known for its blue light. Witchhead Nebula, IC 21-18, is a dim reflection nebula in the Orion constellation that is well lit by the bright star Rigel. NGC 1999, a bright reflection nebula in the Orion constellation associated with a young star. Typical planetary nebulae. Ring Nebula, M57. Located in Lyra, it is a popular planetary nebula with a distinctive ring-like appearance. Helix Nebula, NGC 7293, often referred to as the Eye of God, it's a large planetary nebula in Aquarius. 
Cat's Eye Nebula, NGC 6543, a complex planetary nebula in Draco known for its intricate structures, typical dark nebulae. Horsehead Nebula, Barnard 33, part of the Orion Molecular Cloud Complex known for its horsehead-like shape. Colsack Nebula, a prominent dark nebula in the southern sky, easily visible to the naked eye. Pipe Nebula, Barnard 59, 65, 67, 78. A dark nebula in the Ophiuchus constellation, resembling a smoking pipe. Firstly, let's examine the Orion Nebula M42, Emission Nebula. The Orion Nebula, also known as Messier, 42 M42 is one of the most studied and photographed objects in the night sky. Located approximately 1,300 light years away in the constellation of Orion, it is visible to the naked eye as a fuzzy patch. This emission nebula is a massive cloud of gas and dust where new stars are being born, making it an important site for studying star formation. A combination of vivid pink, green and blue hues dominate the Orion Nebula, which is about 24 light years across. The pink and red colours are due to the ionisation of hydrogen gas by intense ultraviolet radiation from the hot young stars within the nebula. The green colour comes from ionised oxygen. The Hubble Space Telescope has provided detailed images revealing complex structures around newborn stars, including Herbig Harrow objects and protoplanetary disks, known as proplids. These principles are vital for understanding the early stages of planetary system formation. The Orion Nebula is a laboratory for studying the processes of star and planet formation, shedding light on the early stages of stellar evolution and the interaction of young stars with their natal environments. Pleiades, M45, Reflection Nebula. A reflection nebula surrounds the Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters, Messier 45 a notable star cluster in the Taurus constellation. At a distance of about 444 light-years, it's one of the nearest star clusters to Earth and easily visible to the naked eye. The Pleiades cluster is about 13 light-years across and contains hundreds of stars, but it's most famous for its bright blue young stars. The surrounding nebula reflects the blue light of these stars, which is why the nebula appears predominantly blue. The cluster's stars are thought to have formed together around 100 million years ago. Astronomers use the Pleiades as a key calibration source for distance measurements in the universe. The Pleiades serve as a crucial benchmark for understanding the properties of young stars and the dynamics of star clusters. The cluster's age and proximity make it ideal for studying stellar evolution. Ring Nebula, M57, Planetary Nebula. The Ring Nebula, also known as M57, is a planetary nebula in the constellation Lyra. Located around 2,000 light-years away, it represents the final stages of a sun-like star's life. It appears ring-like, spanning about one light-year in diameter. The colours range from reddish hues at the outer edges, due to ionised hydrogen, to greenish colours towards the centre, from ionised oxygen. Observations, particularly from the Hubble Space Telescope, have revealed a more complex structure, including faint outer halos. These observations provide insights into the final stages of stellar evolution. Studying the Ring Nebula helps astronomers understand the future of our Sun and similar stars. It provides a glimpse into the processes that occur when a star expels its outer layers at the end of its life. Eagle Nebula M16, Emission Nebula. The Eagle Nebula, or Messier 16, M16, is a spectacular emission nebula located about 7,000 light years away in the constellation Serpens. It is famous for the Pillars of Creation, a region highlighted by the Hubble Space Telescope. Spanning 70 by 55 light years, the nebula is a hotbed of star formation. Young, massive star's ultraviolet light sculpts its towering pillars of gas and dust. The nebula's colour palette is a mix of red, green and blue hues, representing various ionised gases like hydrogen, red and oxygen, green. The Eagle Nebula is a prime location for studying the birth of stars and the effect of massive stars on their surroundings.
the Hubble Space Telescope's images of the pillars of creation are among the most iconic in astronomy, showing detailed structures where new stars are forming. The Eagle Nebula offers insights into the processes of star formation and the dynamics of young stellar clusters. It's a key region for understanding how massive stars influence the formation and evolution of their lesser siblings. Witchhead Nebula, IC 2118, Reflection Nebula. The Witchhead Nebula is a reflection nebula located in the constellation Eridanus, about 1,000 light years away. The bright star Rigel in the nearby constellation of Orion shines on it. Resembling a witch's profile, this nebula reflects the light from Rigel, giving it a blue hue typical of reflection nebulae. The blue colour is due to the scattering of shorter wavelengths of light by the dust. The Witch Head Nebula is an example of how massive stars can illuminate nearby cosmic dust, creating stunning visual phenomena. Studies of such nebulae help astronomers understand the properties of interstellar dust and its interaction with starlight. Reflection nebulae like the Witch Head Nebula are essential for studying the characteristics of interstellar mediums and the role of dust in the cosmos. Helix Nebula, NGC 7293, Planetary Nebula, the Helix Nebula, also known as NGC 7293, is one of the closest and most remarkable planetary nebulae. It's located about 655 light-years away in the constellation Aquarius. With a diameter of about 2.5 light-years, it's often referred to as the Eye of God due to its eye-like appearance. Its colourful ring structure showcases varying emissions from ionised gases, including reds from nitrogen and greens from oxygen. The Helix Nebula is a favoured subject for studying the late stages of stellar evolution. It provides a glimpse of what our Sun might look like in five billion years. Studying the Helix Nebula helps astronomers understand the final phases of a star's life, particularly how they shed their outer layers and enrich the interstellar medium with heavier elements. Colsac Nebula – Dark Nebula the Colsac Nebula is a prominent dark nebula in the Southern Hemisphere, visible to the naked eye as a dark patch against the Milky Way's bright band. It's located about 600 light-years away in the constellation Crux. The Colsac Nebula is notable for its lack of stars, appearing as an opaque cloud obscuring the light of the Milky Way. It spans approximately 7 degrees in the sky, equivalent to about 35 light-years across. The Colsac Nebula is significant for studies in star formation, as dark nebulae are the birthplaces of stars. Its proximity and size make it an excellent subject for amateur astronomers and professionals alike. The study of dark nebulae like the Colsac Nebula is crucial for understanding the initial conditions and processes of star formation, as well as the distribution of dust and gas in our galaxy. Tarantula Nebula, NGC 2070, Emission Nebula. The Tarantula Nebula, also known as NGC 2070, is an extraordinarily large and complex emission nebula within the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. It's located about 160,000 light-years away. The Tarantula Nebula is the most active starburst region known in the local group of galaxies spanning over 600 light-years. It exhibits a rich palette of colours, primarily red due to the ionised hydrogen, and some greenish hues from ionised oxygen. It contains the superstar cluster R136, which houses some of the most massive and luminous stars known. The Tarantula Nebula is crucial for understanding the process of massive star formation and the way these stars influence their environment. Studying the Tarantula Nebula helps in understanding star formation in extreme environments and the conditions present in the early universe, where such massive star-forming regions were more common. NGC 1999, Reflection, Nebula. NGC 1999 is a reflection nebula located in the constellation Orion, approximately 1,250 light years away. V380, Orionis, a very young and massive star, illuminates it. NGC 1999 is known for its unique appearance, featuring a bright, predominantly blue nebula with a distinctive dark patch, which was initially thought to be a dark nebula, but later revealed to be a cavity. This nebula is particularly significant for studying the early stages of star formation, as it's associated with a young star, 
and exhibits features like Herbig Haro objects, indicative of stellar jets. NGC 1999 provides valuable insights into the interaction between young stars and their surrounding nebulous material, shedding light on the complexities of star formation and the evolution of protoplanetary disks. Cat's Eye Nebula, NGC 6543, Planetary Nebula. The Cat's Eye Nebula, or NGC 6543, is a complex planetary nebula in the constellation Draco. It's approximately 3,300 light years away and represents a phase of stellar evolution similar to what our Sun will experience. It's renowned for its intricate structure, featuring concentric rings and high speed gas jets. The nebula displays a rich array of colours, from greens and blues to reds, corresponding to various ionised elements. Detailed observations by the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed its complex nature, including multiple shells and symmetrical structures, which are of great interest for understanding the late stages of stellar evolution. The Cat's Eye Nebula is a key object for studying the processes that occur in planetary nebulae, particularly how stars expel their outer layers and the shaping mechanisms of these stunning cosmic structures. Pipe Nebula, Barnard 59, 65, 67, 78, Dark Nebula. The Pipe Nebula is a prominent dark nebula in the constellation Ophiuchus, forming a distinctive pipe-like shape against the Milky Way. It's located about 600-700 light-years away. This nebula is an extensive complex of dark clouds obscuring the background stars. The Pipe Nebula is particularly known for its dense cores, which are potential sites of star formation. Astronomical studies have focused on the dense cores within the Pipe Nebula, examining the initial conditions and processes leading to star formation. The Pipe Nebula is an excellent laboratory for understanding the early stages of star formation, particularly in relatively quiescent environments, away from the influence of massive stars. Each of these nebulae adds a unique perspective to our understanding of the universe. From the vibrant star-forming regions in the Tarantula Nebula to the enigmatic structures of the Cat's Eye Nebula and the dark star-birthing clouds of the Pipe Nebula, they each play a significant role in unravelling the mysteries of stellar life cycles and the broader cosmic context, the world's most iconic nebulae. The Crab Nebula, a supernova remnant located in the constellation Taurus, represents one of the most intriguing and studied objects in the night sky. This essay aims to delve into the rich history, physical characteristics and scientific significance of the Crab Nebula, born from a supernova explosion witnessed on Earth in 1054 AD. As an icon in astronomical research, the Crab Nebula offers invaluable insights into the life cycles of stars, the nature of supernovae and the complexities of cosmic phenomena. The Crab Nebula's story begins over a millennium ago, Historical records, particularly from Chinese and Arab astronomers, describe a guest star in 1054 AD that was so bright it was visible in the daytime for weeks. This event, now understood as a supernova explosion, laid the foundation for what we see today as the Crab Nebula. However, it wasn't until 1731 that English astronomer John Beavis discovered the nebula itself. Its designation as M1 the first object in Charles Messier's catalogue reflects its early significance in observational astronomy. The nebula was named the Crab Nebula in the 19th century by William Parsons, the third Earl of Ross, who observed the nebula through his large telescope in Ireland. He noted its resemblance to a crab, a name that has persisted through time. The Crab Nebula is approximately 6,500 light-years away from Earth and spans about 10 light-years across. It is an expanding cloud of debris, predominantly composed of hydrogen and helium, along with heavier elements like oxygen, neon and iron. These elements provide crucial clues about the composition of the progenitor star and the nature of the supernova explosion. At the core of the Crab Nebula lies a pulsar, a highly magnetised, rotating neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic radiation. This pulsar, known as the Crab Pulsar, was discovered in 1968. It has a remarkably rapid rotation period of about 33 milliseconds and is a key to understanding the nebula's dynamics. 
the supernova of 1054 AD. The supernova that birthed the Crab Nebula was a Type II supernova, the explosive death of a massive star. The event was so luminous that it outshone every star in the night sky. Today, the Crab Nebula stands as a classic example of a supernova remnant and is a primary reference point for studying these cosmic explosions. The Crab Nebula provides a real-time laboratory for astronomers to study the aftermath of a supernova explosion and the evolution of supernova remnants. Its observation has significantly contributed to the understanding of the life cycles of stars, especially the end stages of massive stars. The study of the Crab Nebula has been instrumental in the development and advancement of various astronomical technologies, particularly in the fields of radio and X-ray astronomy. The nebula's bright and dynamic nature makes it an ideal target for testing new observational techniques and instruments. The Crab Nebula has been pivotal in the field of astrophysics, particularly in understanding the physics of neutron stars and pulsars. The discovery of the Crab Pulsar provided the first direct observation of a neutron star, which was theorised but only confirmed then. The pulsar's rapid rotation and intense magnetic field have been subjects of extensive study and have significantly enhanced our understanding of extreme states of matter. Beyond its scientific significance, the Crab Nebula has also captured the public imagination and has been a source of inspiration in art, literature and culture. Its mysterious and dynamic nature, coupled with its historical background, makes it a symbol of awe and wonder in the cosmos. As one of the most well-known objects in astronomy, the Crab Nebula serves as an excellent educational tool, introducing students and the public to concepts of stellar evolution, supernovae and the dynamic universe. The Crab Nebula, a remnant of a spectacular supernova explosion, continues to be a cornerstone in the study of astrophysics. Its rich history, intriguing physical characteristics and central role in advancing our understanding of the cosmos ensure that it remains a subject of fascination and study for years to come. As technology advances, so too will our understanding of this celestial phenomenon, offering deeper insights into the mysteries of the universe. Horsehead Nebula, Barnard 33, Dark Nebula. Located in the constellation of Orion, the Horsehead Nebula stands as one of the most iconic and photographed objects in the night sky. Known officially as Barnard 33, B33, this dark nebula is famous for its striking resemblance to a horse's head when viewed in silhouette against the bright background of the emission nebula IC434. This essay aims to explore the horse head, nebula's discovery, physical properties, formation and significance in the broader context of astronomical research and cultural impact. Scottish astronomer Williamina Fleming first observed the Horsehead Nebula in 1888 at the Harvard College Observatory. It was identified through photographic observation, a relatively new technique at the time. The nebula's distinct shape made it a subject of fascination and study among astronomers and the public alike. The name Horsehead Nebula is derived from its appearance, which closely resembles the head and neck of a horse. As part of the Orion Molecular Cloud Complex, it is situated near the star Alnitak, the easternmost star in Orion's belt, adding to its visibility and allure. The Horsehead Nebula is a dark nebula, a type of interstellar cloud so dense with dust and gas that it obscures the light from background stars. This obscuration results in its famous silhouette. The nebula is primarily composed of molecular hydrogen, along with traces of dust and other elements. Located approximately 1,500 light-years from Earth, the Horsehead Nebula spans about three to four light-years in width. Its relatively close proximity to Earth makes it a popular target for both professional and amateur astronomers. The Horsehead Nebula is a site of active star formation, the dense clouds of gas and dust are ideal environments for the birth of new stars. The processes occurring within the nebula provide crucial insights into the early stages of stellar development. The Horsehead Nebula's interaction with the nearby emission Nebula IC434 and the Orion Molecular Cloud Complex is of particular interest to astronomers. These interactions offer a glimpse into the complex dynamics of interstellar matter and the life cycle of stars. 
The horsehead nebula has played a significant role in the development of astrophotography and observational techniques. Its unique shape and composition make it an excellent subject for testing and refining imaging technologies, especially at infrared wavelengths. As a prominent example of a dark nebula, the Horsehead Nebula has contributed to our understanding of these obscure yet vital components of our galaxy. Studies of the nebula have helped clarify the role of dark nebulae in the larger context of galactic structure and evolution. The Horsehead Nebula's distinctive shape has made it a symbol of the mysteries and wonders of the universe. It has inspired countless works of art, literature and popular culture, serving as a testament to the human fascination with the cosmos. Due to its recognisability and beauty, the Horsehead Nebula has become an important tool for public outreach and education in astronomy. It engages the imagination and curiosity of people of all ages, encouraging interest in science and exploration. The Horsehead Nebula, with its remarkable silhouette and scientific importance, remains one of the most captivating objects in the night sky. As a window into the processes of star formation and the nature of dark nebulae, it continues to be a key subject of study in astronomy. Its cultural and educational significance further cements its status as a celestial icon, inspiring awe and curiosity about the universe we inhabit.